Hey guys, we're sitting here at the Salmon Creek Fred Meyer doing some karaoke outside, and I've got Lucy Schwartz inside, an artist from LA. How you doing? Great. Yeah, well, welcome, welcome to the Fred Meyer here in Washington. Well, thank you. It's my first time at a Fred Meyer. Oh, <laughs> there you go. It's very expensive. <laughs> Lucy is a part of Lilith Fair, and uh, Lucy has a new EP also. Uh, is this your first uh, collection of songs? I mean, you look pretty um, young. I am a youngin. Mm -hmm. um, I, I made my first record in high school called Win Winter in June, um, and the Help Me Help Me EP just came out, and then I have a new record coming out this summer in like a month or so called Life and Others. Very cool. And now, is this with friends? Is this with a group of musicians that you've kind of grown up with, or has folks put you with other musicians that they enjoy? Um, this last record I did with Mitchell Froome, who's a really great producer, and um, because I've been writing these songs for a while now and I want to get out. Very cool. So explain to me the feeling when you get that call and they say, hey, uh, Lucy, we want you for Lilith Fair. How does that work? I think I jumped up and down <laughs> and said, I'm on Lilith Fair. <laughs> yeah. Now, with the, with the ones that are on Lilith Fair that aren't Sheryl Crow and Sugar Land, do you guys like gather together and do songs like that? Do they bring you guys up and all the girls come up at the end of the show? And yeah, like at the very end of the show, we're going to sing a song together, which I don't think we ever practice it except for backstage, so it's going to be spontaneous and fun, and I still have to learn the lyrics. Uh, do we know what song it is? Because the Night. Because the Night, Patty Smith. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very cool, very cool. Well, it is definitely a pleasure to have you here. I look forward to hearing a new, get us a new album. We'd love to hear it over a cake for sure. We have a lot of fun. Very good. Very Papa good. Schwartz in the corner. Oh, is this your father? This is, yeah. The man playing bass right here. So were you the, was this an influence early? It had to have been an influence early on your life, right? Well, something must have rubbed off, but I don't claim that she, she's an influence on me more these days. She used to, you know, I'm a television and film composer, and she used to start out working a lot for me. She was very young. She, she always had an old voice. Uh, I think she was 14. An old soul, huh? An old soul. And, uh, I'm old. She's young and old. So old. So who do you cite as your influences? What did you grow up listening to? And has that changed? Because, you know, a lot of folks will grow up listening to something else and it doesn't change for a good decade or so. Yeah. Who do you I mean, I still think my basic, like, I love the Beatles. I love Coldplay. I love any group of four men who are British. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that all the time. I hear that all the time. All right. Well, very cool. We appreciate you being here. Welcome up to the, I don't know what happened this summer, but you came on the one rainy day. It's supposed to be beautiful for Little yeah. Fair tomorrow. So, in, so enjoy your time. What uh, are, is this going to get to be a normal thing with you hitting the road and doing stuff like that? I would love that. I mean, right now I've just been recording and I've written some songs for movies recently. I have a song, Trek Four. No, um, okay, very cool. And then Mother and Child, and so hopefully I'll be able to. Take it on the road, Lucy, too. you sound like you're on your way. That's fantastic. So, once again, I appreciate you coming out. Thanks thank for being you. a part of what Kink's doing here. And uh, thank you, Papa Schwartz. Thank you, Papa Schwartz. <laughs> a new name. Yeah, there you go.